Nine habits of highly successful people from a man who studied them for five years. They get up early, they read a lot, they spend 15 to 30 minutes a day of focused thinking, and they make exercise a priority. They spend time with people who inspire them, and they pursue their own goals, and they get enough sleep. Apparently, an overwhelming 89% of self-made millionaires get seven to eight hours of sleep. Whoa. Sleep is critical to success because it has an effect on memory function and creative thinking. They have multiple incomes and they avoid time wasters. When you see time as the greatest risk of all, it will force you to be more careful of how you invest your time. How many of these habits do you have? The world's greatest book on wealth and success explained in 10 seconds. You have two minds, the conscious and the subconscious mind. Your conscious is your inner voice. That's what you use. The subconscious, however, is more powerful but rarely tapped into, and that's the key. There's five ways to tap into the power of the subconscious. Be clear about your goal. Don't just say, I want to be rich. Say, I want to have a million dollars by February 13th, 2021. Use auto-suggestion. That means repeating your goal in your head so that your subconscious starts to accept it as fact on a daily basis. Feel the emotion. Your subconscious doesn't understand logic and words. It can only understand emotion. So don't just say, I want to have a million dollars. Feel the emotion that you would feel when that goal is accomplished. Visualize as if it's already happened. Not, I want to be a millionaire. I am a millionaire. Persistence and repetition. Treat your mind like a garden. You can't stop gardening or the fruits die. And that's how my mind turned this drawing into a reality. If you feel bad energy around people you have to be around, or maybe it's a parent, anybody you physically have to be around, this video is for you. When I lived in a household that was toxic, I felt like they were constantly bringing me down. I felt like I didn't deserve anything because they made me feel that way. I had to please them for love. That's where my people pleasing came from. But the one thing I had to acknowledge was that I couldn't change my parents. I couldn't change these negative people around me. So why should I worry about them? What I did is I actually looked into my parents' past. I learned why they are the way they are. I learned what stemmed from their childhood. I took everything from them. I learned from their childhood as well. And I realized they're not negative energy. They're just doing the best they can with the knowledge that they know. And sometimes you might need to be the bigger person because you are more expanded than them. I had to do this for a long time. I had to be the bigger person and always say sorry, but it will help you in the long run. If you've never had abs, okay, boys and girls, watch this video. This is the only thing that I did to start like actually seeing the results. And it, this isn't some scam, this isn't some like diet trick. This is an actual workout that you can find on YouTube. You're gonna look up Athlean X abs. You guys, these workouts take six or seven minutes. This lower ab workout, I did this one almost every day. I used to do these things six or seven days a week. Abs, like I said, do not have to be done over the course of a long time. They just need to be done consistently. Very briefly, five, six, seven, eight minutes. I'm about to teach you an exercise you can do that's gonna help you get to the root of what really motivates you to accomplish anything in your life. I call this exercise, Find Your Why. So start by numbering your paper one through seven and skip a few lines in between. And then ask yourself the question, why is it important to you to be successful? Well, for this exercise, I'll say, because I want to own a big house one day. And then seven times, ask yourself, why is that important to you? I want to own a big house one day because I want my parents to be able to live with me. Why? Why is that important to you? Because I never want my parents to stress over money again. And continue this for seven times. I never want my parents to stress because I want to show them how much I love them. I want them to know how much I love them because I want them to see how well-rounded I am. I want them to see how well-rounded I am because I want them to know I've made something of myself. And then number seven is the real root of it. I never want them to be disappointed the way they were growing up. Mm. 10 incredible free tools for entrepreneurs. Subly, subtitle videos automatically in seconds. Mail Genius, tells you why your emails are going to spam and how to fix it. Contentrow.com, generate ideas for your content. Exode.ai, if you don't know how to run Facebook ads, then let AI do it for you. Unsplash.com, royalty free stock photos. Befree.io, design beautiful emails fast. Loom, replace your emails with a video. Namelix.com, use AI to come up with the perfect business name. Google Autodraw, easily 
create your own custom icon. Biteable. Create video content in minutes. For my, um, my people with female parts out there, I'm about to tell you the secret for how to bless your fucking cooch. You need this shit. It is an absolute blessing. And it, it, you can dry shave with this. That's fucking saying something. I use the fat ass Venus Gillette razors. I obviously cannot show my cooch on camera, so pretend this is it, right? You're gonna take this. Hopefully in the shower. If you're not, fuck it, it still works. You're gonna put that all there. Then, listen to this fucking part. You're gonna go down first. Then you're gonna go sideways on half of it this way. Sideways on half of it this way. And then you go up. I swear, I swear by it. <laughs> Whatever you fucking do, do not use this shit. It'll make you smell like shit after a couple days because it throws off your pH balance. Don't fucking do it. And now you have a smooth ass hoo-ha. You're welcome. What's a piece of information that you learned that feels illegal to know? If you've ever even thought about running your own business or a side hustle, let me show you this website. Trackable short links, landing page builder, Instagram auditor, hashtag analyzer, so much more. And it's entirely for free. Like there's not even a premium upgrade version. It's all just free for now. It's called Neon Tools. Check it out. There are more people that want you to fail than succeed. So there are certain things that you need to keep quiet. Ready? Number one, don't talk to other people about your personal love life because they have no business in that and they would actually want you to fail instead of doing well. Number two, never talk to other people about how much money you make because they could use that against you. Number three, never talk to other people about your next big move because they will use that to sabotage you from succeeding in your life. Number four, never talk to other people about your personal family matters because when everything is great, they'll support you, but when things go bad, they'll use that against you and it could cause a lot of mess. Number five, be careful who you share your fears with because once again, when everything is great, it's great. But once something goes bad, they will use those fears against you and put you down and hurt you. Dude, you know that saying, show me who your friends are and I will tell you who you are? Yeah, that stuff is true. At first, I didn't want to believe it because I wanted to believe that I was in complete control of myself. But the people we interact with the most, the five people we surround ourselves with, impact our subconscious, which means they actually influence the people we become. And looking back on my 22 years of existence, when I hung out with smart people, I got good grades. When I hung out with happy people, I became a happy person. When I hung out with ambitious people, I was more determined to reach my goals. When I hung out with judgmental and mean people, my mind was actually leaning towards becoming like them, even though I, I did my best not to. It just, it was a lot. So be careful who you choose to be close to because you might just end up being a lot like them.